it's, uh, it was an entertaining college basketball game, uh, that's for sure. Um, when Michael Walker released that ball, I was going down to Coach Dickey um, thinking I was going to con you know, congratulate him on a great effort, but we were winning the game. And the uh, ball back rimmed, and, and uh, you know, I'd want Michael taking that shot again. I was proud of the way we executed in the last uh, late game situations uh, to put ourselves in position to win. Uh, you you got to give, uh, well, me before that, Papa D was unbelievable. Uh, 23 points, 11 rebounds, six offensive rebounds, three assists, seven blocks, two steals. Uh, he was terrific. And um, I just, our, our defense at the three point line and, and boxing out, uh, to me, that's where the that cost us. They shot 56%, 58% from the three point line, had 15 offensive rebounds. On the flip side, you know, we had open looks by great shooters, and the ball didn't go down. Uh, we didn't shoot like we normally do from the three point line nor the foul line. And, you know, that's where the game is. It comes down to uh, it's a performance. And it's like, I've said this before, it's like a Broadway play, you know. Uh, sometimes you hit your notes, sometimes you hit your lines just right, sometimes you don't. And tonight we were a little off from the three-point line and the foul line. Uh, and on the flip side, they were on from the three-point line and the foul line. And I uh, give Coach Dickey and his team a lot of credit, especially in light of their two uh, post players not being with them on this trip. Any questions? Um, today, y'all really went after the paint hard. Y'all had 34 points in the paint. Was that something that by design y'all wanted to do, or is that what the game dictated? Well, we will always want to go with the paint, first and foremost, when you have someone like Papadia inside. And um, if, if he's so unselfish that if he doesn't have a shot, he'll hit the uh, open man. Uh, in light of their two big guys not making the trip, Washington and McNeil, uh, we felt we wanted to even go inside more um, because their lack of size and strength, and, and they didn't have the depth inside. So uh, it was even more of a focal point. So you had uh, confidence in Mike shooting that three at the end of the game? Oh, no question. Yeah. Um, Mike, uh, uh, you know, the first option of the play was Rob, second option is Colin, and the third option was uh, Justin coming off for a handoff and making a play. Mike was wide open. Uh, you know, I, that ball hit back rim. I mean, it was it was right on the money, literally. I, I was walking down thinking we, we had just won that basketball game. So uh, that's the fine line of athletics. Uh, that's the fine line. You got seven blocks from Pop today. Have you been asking him to put more of a focus or change his approach defensively that led to that kind of performance? Well, I don't think that led to it. Uh, I'd like, you know, I don't want to take the credit. Uh, I've asked him to be more active. I think he can be a better shot blocker than he has, even though he's one of the best in the league, but averaging one and a half blocks with the minutes he's playing as long and as athletic as he is, he should have more than one and a half blocks per game. Uh, so he gave a seven. Um, but uh, that, that doesn't surprise me from him. I, I, Pop's been real conscientious of trying to improve. And, um, you know, you see his hook shots. Uh, you see um, his demeanor, uh, his approach uh, to the game, uh, and, and then things like blocking shots, you know. Uh, so I, I think he's just understanding uh, the little nuances of the game that can make a guy go from a good player to a great player. He, 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 let me interrupt, I'm sorry to interrupt. We beat Memphis Wednesday. He played 37 minutes, I think. On Thursday, we practiced again and went about an hour and 37 minutes. I said, Pop, you don't have to do much today in practice if you don't want to. And he said, no, uh, I want to go. And, he's, and he jokingly said, I'm a, we're animals. And uh, you know, that's great leadership. He, he came out in our warm-up drills and was the one going the hardest. And, and that's when you have a good leader. On the, um, on the three-point defense, uh, it's almost like they were daring you to, I mean, come on out and stop us. This is what we're doing. Right. I mean, what, what was involved with that? Why well, I, I, you guys? I, I think they're good dribble penetrators. You know, Brown and, and Nixon are very good at penetration. And so then you, you guard the dribble penetration, and then, you know, they kick it out. And... Uh, 
for an open three. So you may guard the ball well or have to help, and then they find, you know, they, they, they beat you on the help. And um, they got one on a flare screen, which probably shouldn't have happened. And they have good count. He's a good coach. You know, we, you help on one thing, and, you know, we try to do it. You try to burn the help. So if you help, they try to burn the help. So, you know, one time they dove somebody into the paint. We helped a little bit. They skipped it across to Brown, who hit like a 25-footer in front of their bench. Yeah. You know, so, uh, you know, statistically, um, you know, they haven't been shooting that well from the three-point line nor the foul line. Statistically, we've been shooting better. So you also have to play stats. And sometimes, you know, it's a team that's hot. And I also think when a team loses two, one or two key guys, everyone else picks up the, the energy and, and um, say, OK, you know, we, we got we to gotta pick up the slack. And they didn't feel sorry for themselves. You know, it wasn't like, you know, from what I understand, McNeil, it would happen Thursday, you know, where all of a sudden he's not going to play. So it's not like it happened where they got injured in the first quarter or, you know, was sent home this morning. Uh, so they had some mental time to prepare for that. And these guys won the league last year. <laughs> Adam Brown, you know, my assistant, Jerry Hobby, you know, uh, Nixon uh, and Brown uh, were two key components to last year's Conference USA Championship run. So they, they're not afraid, and they made big plays. How much did Coach Hobby help in preparation for this game? Oh, it was his scout. Um, you know, so he has an understanding of the personnel, uh, but it's a different coach. Sure. So it's different plays, different philosophy. Um, and I've coached against Coach Dickey before when I was an assistant at Kansas, and he was at Texas Tech. And he's, he's an Eddie Sutton disciple, and you see that in his plays, a lot of the same plays. And they're good sound plays, good sound defense. Um, uh, but, you know, it's a, again, it's a performance. Um, you know, they don't have to hit all the threes. We don't have to miss all the threes. Uh, and, and they don't have to make all their foul shots. We don't have to miss, you know, six foul shots. So, uh, but it was a good game. It was a good game. Justin Haynes, 0 for 4 from the free throw line. How much does that affect his playing time there late in the game? Uh, it, it affects it a little, you know, significantly when you, you have the ball and you say, okay, you know, if they're going to foul him, uh, we want to have a better foul shooter in here. And uh, so it's something that he has to continue to work on. And um, uh, he will. He puts in the time. I thought he gave us a big lift um, running the team and also defensively. Uh, but it hurts late in the game uh, when, you know, we scout too. Okay, that guy's – Struggling from the foul line, if he's got the ball foul. Uh, so uh, we didn't want to, uh, you know, put Jeremiah, and Jeremiah made a nice play. Uh, and then I put uh, uh, Justin back in for defense. Um, right now, Paul Montgomery, I mean, Mangrum, has played two solid games in a row. Do you think he has the potential to be the solid, you know, third or fourth scorer on this team? Like he's before? actually played, this is his third solid game. He played well at Tulane, even though he didn't score a lot. Um, you know, he, he goes he goes one for six. Mike Walker goes one for six. That's not happening. You know, that's, you know, I got my college degree at North Carolina, two for 12. That's not happening on a regular basis. And so, um, you know, he played terrific, I thought. Uh, he active, obviously, a little too active on the offensive boards and should have let a couple of balls go, but you can't fault his effort and what he's doing for our team. He played 40 minutes. Here's a kid that goes from, I think he played two minutes against Mississippi to, you know, I don't know, he played against Tulane to... 30, 31, 40. Yeah. 